Investors should exercise caution during a recession, but they should also keep an eye out for opportunities to purchase high quality assets at a bargain. Although these are challenging circumstances, they also present the best opportunities. The worst performing investments during a recession are those that are heavily leveraged, cyclical and speculative. Investors should be aware that businesses that fit into one of these categories run the danger of failing. Welcome to Good Lux, a channel dedicated to inspiring you to expand your mindset, make general life breakthroughs and realize your full potential to see what life has to offer. Instead, those who want to make money during a recession will put their money into high quality businesses with solid financial positions, little debt, positive cash flow and sectors that have historically performed well. Although many assets would be smart investments in a normal period, we'd like to show you some assets that are recession proof so that you can make investments in them to fend off recession. Without further ado, let's begin. While it may be tempting to avoid stocks and other investments altogether during a recession, investors who do so risk missing out on important opportunities. Companies with strong balance sheets Looking for businesses that are sustaining robust balance sheets or stable business models in the face of economic challenges is a wise investment approach during a recession. Conglomerates of basic consumer items, utilities and defense stocks are a few examples of these kinds of businesses. Investors frequently increase the exposure to these groups in their portfolios in anticipation of deteriorating economic conditions. You can tell if a firm is making profit by looking at its financial reports if they have little debt, sound cash flow and robust cash flows. All of these things need to be taken into account before investing. Recession resistant industries Some industries perform fairly well during recessions, which may seem surprising. Stocks from some of these recession resistant industries are frequently added to portfolios by investors searching for an investing strategy during market downturns. These counter-cyclical stocks typically do well during recessions because demand for them rises when income declines or when economic uncertainty is present. Typically, the stock price of counter-cyclical stocks goes against the direction of the overall economic trend. The value of these stocks rises during a recession. They shrink as an expansion progresses. These top performers typically come from the following sectors. Consumer goods, grocery stores, bargain retailers, manufacturers of firearms and ammunition, alcohol producers, cosmetics and funeral services. Dividend Stocks You could want to include some dividend stocks in your portfolio if you want to be a little less volatile. Your portfolio will move less when you invest in high quality dividend stocks because they vary less than other stock types. Additionally, they may provide a cash dividend to guarantee that you have some income while you wait for the market to change. Not confident in your ability to choose your dividend stocks? Purchase a dividend stock fund to reap the benefits of diversification's lower risk levels while still receiving a respectable dividend return. Additionally, if you purchase shares at a discount, the total yield will be larger. Real Estate for several reasons, real estate can be a desirable investment during a recession. First, you might be able to purchase items at a lower cost than in times of a robust economy. The worth of your real estate could then increase as the economy grows and consumers have more money to spend. Second, during a recession, when rates are probably considerably lower than they would be otherwise, you could be able to secure a mortgage at a much better rate. A desirable mortgage payment can be fixed for years or even decades, guaranteeing that you will still have it even if interest rates rise. In recent years, many investors achieved a 30-year mortgage with a rate under 3%. Real estate is a desirable inflation hedge since they are repaying the mortgage with cheaper dollars when inflation grows now and in the future. High Yield Savings Account Cash? Yes. Given that most recessions don't last very long, cash might be a decent investment in the near run. 
You have a lot of possibilities with cash. You can utilize it if necessary, such as if you lose your work during a recession, and it enables you to make an opportunistic investment if the stock market unexpectedly declines, or you subsequently find the ideal home. But keeping too much cash has its drawbacks. Your savings may be eroded by inflation, and it's unlikely that you'll earn enough interest to make up the difference. Therefore, deposit your money with a high-yield online savings account and use it to your advantage. Precious Metal Investments During market lulls, precious metals like gold or silver frequently do well. However, because there is typically a rise in demand for certain commodities during recessions, their prices typically increase as well. There are numerous ways to invest in precious metals. Purchasing coins or bars from a vendor or coin dealer is the simplest option. Although this is not the same as purchasing security, it is still a viable choice. ETFs should be your focus if you're more interested in purchasing precious metal equities. These funds are assemblages of investments made in a specific sector, in this case the market for precious metals. If you're saving expressly for retirement, you could also buy a gold IRA. Treasury and Savings Bonds Treasury bonds are among the safest investments you can make during a recession. The US government issues treasury and savings bonds, which are supported by the country's full faith and credit. They are therefore amongst the safest investments available. And since they are so secure, they frequently do well when the economy is shaky. I-bonds are a sort of savings bond that the US government offers. I-bonds are designed to give people a secure, low-risk investment alternative. I-bonds can generate interest for a period of up to 30 years. This interest is not subject to federal, state or local taxes and is even tax deferred until it is withdrawn. They are currently paying out almost 10%, not too bad for a low-risk investment. Exchange Traded Funds During a recession, you might be able to benefit from lower stock prices if you choose to keep some of your money invested in the stock market. Buying stocks during a recession when share prices are low is referred to as buying in the dip and can result in bigger gains subsequently. Exchange traded funds are one approach to buying equities while keeping your portfolio fairly diversified. A group of securities that trade on the market makes up an ETF. Many follow indices and include a wide range of assets, including equities and bonds. When you purchase an ETF, you don't just purchase the fund's assets, rather you purchase a piece of the fund. ETFs have several benefits, including easier diversification and lower costs. However, there are certain disadvantages, such as the possibility of fund losing value. Some ETFs may be difficult to sell or liquidate. Private Lending in a recession, banks frequently tighten their lending standards, making it harder for some people or businesses to acquire a loan. People who choose to invest in private lending may get a higher return on their assets as a result of stricter lending criteria. Through your IRA, you can lend money privately to other people. You can choose the amount to lend to a borrower and select the loan's conditions, including the interest rate and time of payback. There are some dangers associated with private lending, most notably the possibility of a borrower failing. Before making a financing decision, carefully examine each application to reduce risks. Tax Lien When you invest in tax liens, you buy a claim on a piece of real estate whose taxes are past due. Property owners frequently fall behind on their taxes during a recession, thus there may be more potential tax liens. One of two situations may occur once you are the owner of the tax lien. The owner of the property may pay both the taxes and the interest. As the lien holder, in this case, you would receive the money. The holder will get the deed if the owner of the property doesn't pay the taxes by the due date. The taxes and interest are then your responsibility. A reasonably inexpensive option to invest in real estate is by purchasing tax liens. Invest in yourself. 
Going back to school to acquire new knowledge or abilities can help you land a better career is one of the ways you can bounce back if you lose your job and source of income during a recession. If you are concerned that your employment status might deteriorate at some point, paying off debt is another choice. During an economic crisis, you'll feel less anxious if you have less money to spend on bills. Over the long term, every recession eventually recovers and increases. Investors can participate in one of the biggest market booms and avoid the volatility that frequently occurs when the economy declines by adopting a strategy focused on counter-cyclical businesses with strong balance sheets in recession-resistant industries. Long-term investors who are prepared to persevere through these uncertain times will eventually be able to reap the benefits. When the bear market is in full swing, they might also be able to sell rapidly, purchasing more profitable assets and position themselves in front of the recovery for even greater rewards when the market recovers. Post any more queries or remarks in the comments section. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video so that others might view it and be inspired. To ensure that you don't miss any new videos regarding personal development, enable the notification bell as well. We'll see you in a future video.